What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 11. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Life Orb Kieran White team that also features Weakness Policy Metagross and Super Luck Apsil. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel on all of my videos. It really does go a long way. But this team right here is looking really, really strong. Cannot wait to use it. And it's looking fun at the same time. It features the Metagross, who's an absolute beast like we were just talking about. But it also features the Kiram and Absol, who are two like off-meta Pokemon that are still yet really, really strong. So hopefully we get to show them off to their fullest potential and grab you guys some victories with those Pokemon. But getting started with this team preview, we're going to get started in that top left corner with the one and only Kiram White. Turbo Blaze is its ability. Life Orb as its item. This thing's Rock and Blizzard and Draco Meteor for stab. Earth Power for coverage and protect for our final move. Right next to him is Regilecki. This Pokemon, super good. Everybody knows about this guy. Has Transistor ability, Magnet as his item, and then Thunderbolt, E-Web for speed control, Bolt Switch for pivot, and Protect. Fairly normal moveset for any Regilecki in Series 11. Middle left is Metagross. Love seeing this Pokemon yet again in this series. Haven't seen him at all in Series 10, so it's been fun using him once again. But Clear Body as its ability, Weakness Policy for his item, then Protect, Ice Punch, Meteor Mash, and Stopping Tantrum for that amazing Metagross moveset. Right next to him is our support mon and tailwind setter, and that is going to be Whimsicott. Prankster ability, obviously, and then we obviously have the focus sash as well. Moonblast, taunt, helping hand, tailwind, love this moveset. Cannot wait to showcase it off and bring in Whimsicott in the battles. Bottom left is Incineroar. Do I have to say anything? I will though. I will say some things. Intimidate on him for his ability. Citrus Berry as his item. Flare Blitz, Darkest Lair, Fake Out, Parting Shot. Probably the most normal moveset of Incineroar, but the best one. I absolutely love it because it's so good at everything. You got the Flinch Control, you got the Parting Shot for attack and special attack drop, and then you got the Pivot move with Parting Shot in there as well. And then you got two different stab moves with the Fire move and the Darkest Lair for our Dark move. So really good moveset on him. Really good in any situation, in any battle. Final Pokemon on the squad is Absol. Cannot wait to show off this Pokemon. I feel like I only showcased this Pokemon maybe like twice on the channel, but this one is looking very, very strong. It's got the Super Luck ability and the Scope Bun, so our crit ratio boost is out of this world. We're going to be able to crit on most of our attacks. We also have Night Slash for stab, Close Combat for coverage, Play Rough for coverage, and Stone Edge for coverage. So this thing can pretty much hit up on any Pokemon and deal a great amount of damage. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Series 11 Kieran White team. Looking for a big win to get this video started. We're going up against a Zassian team that also features uh, Serene over here. Then he has the Urshfu, Landorus, well, Intimidate Landorus, I should say. Then he has the Whimsicott and the Grimstone. Okay, how should I go in this is one? How should I play it? I feel like leading maybe a Tailwind user could be good, but at the same time, Regilecki could be beneficial to us as well. But who do I think he's going to lead? Who do I think he's going to lead? We could go Regilecki and Metagross, which could be good. Which could honestly be good. I do not think we should bring in Landorus, or not Landorus, Incineroar, because he might bring in Serene. But I think leading these two could be really, really good, and then having Absol and Kieran White in the back could be pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly for the squad here. I am liking this. I'm trying to think of who he might lead. He has... Does he have any fake-out users? I mean, Grimstone can, but... Hmm. Usually, you don't really see Grimstone's rocket fake-out now, nowadays. I think leading these two could be really beneficial to us. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Let's hop to our first battle and look to grab ourselves a win here. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. Do you guys think they should make team building easier or do you guys think they should keep it the same? Because it is long and tedious. It's not like hard work. It just takes a little bit. But at the same time, when you get done building a team, you have like a sense of satisfaction. Like, hey, yo, I just grind it. I just built this team and all that. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of that. But he goes in with Zacian and Grip Summer. So we could go in with the fake out, which definitely could be whack. Uh, do I just go into it with a Steel Spike? Um, I might protect Regilecki and then just go into a Steel Spike onto the Grimstone. Thinking that he might fake me out. What's the player? What is the player? I think I think we just do that. I think we just protect here and then we go into a Steel Spike. Getting that defense boost for the squad. And then dealing some good damage onto the Grim at the same time. So let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Because he cannot Behemoth. Well, he can Behemoth Blade my Metagross. But it's going to be not very effective. So I really don't see him doing that. And Behemoth Blade is really is what thrives with Dynamax Pokemon. It really does. But Defense Boost is really going to benefit us for these physical attackers. So let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. But yo, I've been having random music on for every single one of my battles. And I'm loving it, bro. Because you never know what you're going to get. You always get some jams. Sometimes you get a little slowdown. But I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> but we're going to Dynamax this Metagross. Love this Pokemon. Yo, this thing is an absolute monster. An absolute monster. Especially if they properly just possible for us. Let's see his suits play. I'm going to end up protecting our Reggie. 
Reggie with the protect. And then let's see what he goes into. Fake out maybe? He protects. Oh, we protect Zassy. We like that. We like that. What's he going in with uh, Grimstarl? Grimstarl setting up a reflect. Okay, yo, I'm cool with that turn. I'm definitely cool with that turn. At that point, we start slowing everybody down and we get some nice damage off on the steel spike here. Let's love a little steel spike. Even though he reflected, it still puts him down the red. So E Web can take him out from there. I think I just go into an E Web into a uh, Quake here. And we try to get off as much damage as we possibly can onto this Asian. We might sub up this turn, but I'm cool with that. Let's go in with the E Web. And then, yeah, like I said, Quake is definitely the play. Quake is definitely the play because we do get a special defense boost on top of that, which really benefits both the Pokemon out on the field. The light screen, he gets his screen set up before he does die out. Smart play. Screens are super, super good. Super good all around. We go in with our lovely little E-Web. Slow him down. Slow him down. And how much damage are we going to do to this uh, Zacian? Are we going to be able to KO this? This could be huge. If we KO this Zacian here, that could be so big for the squad. He ends up getting off a, a, a turn before we hit, which kind of stinks. And we die. And we go down to that. That's a little, that's a little whack. That's a little whack. I would have I loved to have my Regilecki for another turn. We go in with a Quake here, and we're going to do some big old damage on this thing. We don't pick up the KO, but I think I have to throw out Kiram, because I do believe Kiram does outspeed that. I do believe Kiram outspeeds that with that thing being minus one, because Kiram's speed is like 160-something, right? Let me see it. Let me see it. Yeah, 161. Okay, so I think we do outspeed that, especially because he's minus one. I don't think Absol would be able to. I don't think Absol would be able to. Let me see the Metagross' speed first and foremost. The Metagross isn't able to outspeed him because he's 122. Uh, that's fair. So I don't think Absol will, but I think Kiram will. So bringing out Kiram should be able to let us pick up the final hits on that onto that Zacian. And then we can Dynamax move into whatever he throws out here. And who is it going to be? It's going to be the Serene over here. But he's probably not going to Dynamax that, to be honest with you. He's probably not going to Dynamax that, to be honest. I could go in with a Blizzard. Blizzard could be good, but it's really risky. So I'm just going to go in with the Earth Power. And then I think I just throw in a Hailstorm over here. Or I could go in with the Steel Spike, get the Defense Boost. But I just think getting off as much damage as we possibly can right now is probably more beneficial to us. And plus, then we can go into Blizzard's left and right and not miss him. That could be really good for us. So he's going to end up protecting the Zacian. Let's see what he does from here. Earth Power's going to miss. And what's the Serene going into? Maybe a high jump kick? What are you doing here? Yeah, high jump kick. Can we eat that? Eat that up. Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly we don't eat that up. Get out my face. We don't eat up a high jump kick. Get out my face. Do me dirty with that one. Do me real dirty with that one. Get out of my face. Hailstorm comes out here. Can this KO? That could be a big KO for us. Nope. Uh, Buffets are going to chip away on both of them. Which is really beneficial to us. We are going to bring out the one and only Absol here. And that's a little scary though. Absol cannot protect. Absol cannot protect. And we might just go down to this ass here. That's real tough. I wish we did have a, like, a first turn priority move. Is minus one on speed. I don't think we're outspeeding that though. Because Metagross doesn't outspeed this Zacian. Mm. And a high jump kick can KO us again. That's so rough. That is so rough, man. That's so rough. So we need him to miss that. We need him to miss that. I'm going to I'm gonna go after Zacian here. We're going with the... What do, I, what do I hit him with? Stone Edge? Critical hit slam more easily. Same thing with this. I do feel like this will KO this thing. What do we do? What do we hit up on? This is so tough. This is a tough first battle, man. I think we're just going to go this way. Actually, we're going to swap that. I do think a Night Slash will be able to pick up the KO onto this thing. Actually, you know We're just going to go Night Slash here, and then we're just going to go into a Stopping Tantrum over onto the Zacian slot. It's tough. Go ahead. Miss your attacks. Miss your attack. Playoff comes in. He misses. Yo, that's huge. He's going to taunt me. Yo, dude, that's huge. That is huge. That is huge. We got landing shots. We got landing shots. Night Slash coming in hot. Come in hot. Get out my face, dude. Get him out of here. Big old guaranteed crit because we got scope blends. We got the super luck, and that move is boosted on crit already. Stop the tantrum comes in here. Yo, get out my face, yo. Get him out of here, yo. We're rolling. This should be GG's. Pretty much GG's. Yo, that was rough. That, that would have been rough. Thank God he missed that player off. Even if he missed that player off, we still would have had a shot at this. We still would have had a shot at that because that, say, Absol goes down, that, or Metagross kills. And that thing could potentially go down to Buffets. It probably would have, because I would have just protected the next turn. And took that thing out. And it would have turned into a 1v1 right here, which, mm, which, which could be rough. Which could be rough. Clear body's going to pop here. Um, we are just going to go into straight Night Slash here. And then an Ice Punch, because Ice Punch is four times super effective. Let's go into Night Slash, and then an Ice Punch here. I could protect, but 
We might as well double down into this thing. I feel like if we land any of these moves, we should be fine here. Oh, we saw his Dynamax. He still has Dynamax. I totally forgot. I totally forgot this thing still has Dynamax. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can we land this Ice Punch? Hopefully, he's, uh... Hopefully, he doesn't go after my uh, Metagross, because this will be four times super effective. Does any guys outspeed him? I don't think so. Let's see. Land is going to go. He's going to go for the Quake. It's going to take me out. If it doesn't take me out, that's GG's. But I think it does all day, right? It doesn't. Yo, that's GG's. Good game. Good game. Good game. Weakness policy proc. Ice Punch coming in hot. Good game. Good game. Watch this Ice Punch. Just dump on this thing. And if, even if it doesn't, we have a Night Slash coming in next to it. Well, Night Slash is going to do damage first. Look how much damage that does. That's a beautiful, that's a beautiful Night Slash. Ice Punch. GG's. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Get him out of my game, yo. Ice Punch too good. We end up grabbing ourselves a win in battle number one. What a way to start off today's video. Let's hop through a second and try to showcase this team a little bit more. More so, Kieran White. First battle went really well. Granted, we did get a little lucky with that dude missing his player off. But hey, we take those all day. We got to show off this, the Night Slash and Super Luck Absol. We didn't really get to show off Kieran White, so we definitely want to try to get him in on this battle. But we're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team with a rank room. So that leads me to think he's going to go with Obstruct. He might actually lead that. So I'm going to go Whimscott and Incineroar because then I can fake out at this point. And then I can also taunt. Which do we think he's Mental Herb? He could potentially be Mental Herb. But if we have Fake Out ready to roll, we can kind of just Fake Out the... Uh, the... B -b 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 what is it called? The Ice Rider Calyrex and then Double Taunt if we really have to. I'm going to bring Kiram in the back. And then I think Absol just coming in this back end is really... Absol just hits really, really hard. But I do like him. I do like him a lot. So let's lock in this team. Let's get after it in battle number two. And let's go back to back for today's video. But yo, that last battle, I totally forgot he had Dynamax. He sent out Lando. I was like, okay, we have a decent shot here. We have a decent shot here. And then he was just like, Dynamax. I was like, wait a minute. He didn't use his Dynamax yet? Get out of my face. But you know what actually won us the game? Was our defensive boost on that Steel Spike earlier in the match. Helped us eat up that shot there. And then we were able to get off that Ice Punch, which, which just won us the game. But we're going to go in with Intimidate Pokemon here. And it's basically just going to be the same. It's basically just going to be the same. But we do have Fake Out ready to roll here, which I could just drop an easy Fake Out onto, like, the Whimscott. Or I could Taunt it. I could Fake Out and Taunt it at the same time. What do I want to do? I actually might Taunt it and then go into a, uh, a Fake Out onto Lando. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Taunt this thing. And then I am going to Fake Out onto Landers. That's exactly my turn. Well, he might Dynamax here. Actually, we should have probably read that. No, he does not. He's just going to protect Wimscott. It's rather smart. Do I taunt again here? He's going to double protect. Okay. So, he's just going to block the fake out. I could have set up a Tailwind. I could have set up Tailwind. Do I Tailwind parting shot here? Or do I taunt again? What's the call here? What is the call here? Well, are we rocking Focus Sash on this Pokemon? I think we are, yeah. We are rocking Focus Sash on this Pokemon. So, I we just go into another taunt here. And then I might just party shot on Lando. I don't think he Dynamaxes a Lando. He has minus one. I kind of hope he does, to be honest with you guys. Taunt's going to come out here. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, Taunt comes out before he his Tailwind or anything. Hopefully, he's going for a Tailwind still. He's Mental Herb. Get out my face. Yo, get out my face. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. Come on, dude. That's wacky. He's going to fly here. We should be able to eat it up. That's so whack, dude. That is so whack. This thing is Metal Herb. Out of all the Pokemon on this team, this one's the Metal Herb. This thing has Orb. We are going to eat up a berry here. Yeah, dude, get this thing out of here. And then I think we just bring out my, uh... I think we just bring out my Kiriman. We can drop a Blizzard here, because Blizzard can do wonders. Can work wonders here. That's so whack that that happens. Alright, Kiriman White's going to pop here. I really do want to kind of just drop a Hailstorm, but uh, what other Pokemon do we have here? I think Blizzard's just going to be the call. Try to land a Blizzard. Maybe go. Oh, we can't go into a Helping Hand. Whack. Game's whack. Game's super whack. We got to go into a Moonblast here. And who do I Moonblast down? Let me Moonblast you down a little bit. Let's go into Blizzard. Let's see if he's playing. He might protect here. He's going to set up a Tailwind. <laughs> I can't stand this game. I can't do it. He's minus two. He's going to self-destruct. Might be a waste of a turn. How much damage is that really going to do? Yeah. Waste of a turn. Get him out of here. He just killed his Whimsicott. <laughs> he just killed his Whimsicott, too. Get out of my face. All right. Uh, What's the play? 
That's fine. Moonblast gonna fly in here. This is a waste of a turn for him. Blizzard's just gonna miss. Um, I might have to protect my Kyurem here. He does have speed. Now, who's he gonna go into? Who's he gonna go into? Oh, we could have if he has obstruct Oranguru with Ice Rider Kalix here. I'm not. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna be really upset. At that point, I just hard swap the Kyurem and just get off that Intimidate, which could be big for us. Let's see his final two Pokemon, which is going to be. No! 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 What you mean? <laughs> what you mean? Oh my lord, yo, I really need Taunt here. Unnerve comes out here. Is there Taunt over? How many turns left in our Taunt, man? God, man, dude, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. Oh my lord. I guess we go for a Moonblast. I guess we go for a Moonblast here. And I am just going to protect the Kyurem this turn. Then I'm a hard swap and Incineroar next turn. That is so whack, dude. This guy really brings out both these guys. He's not going to Dynamax. We still have hours. Brutal Swing's going to come through here. And he's proc Policy. He's proc Policy, which will KO my Whimsy. Oh, actually, actually doesn't KO my Whimsy. Now, is he going for a Glacial Lance? Or hopefully he's just going into a straight move onto my... Onto my Kyurem. That would be really nice. Let's see what he does. Sher shares his choice band. Glacial Lance going to come out here. We're going to block that. And that's going to say bye bye to Wombs God, dude. This thing is boosted like crazy. This thing is boosted like crazy. We need this Tailwind to like finish up here. We need this Tailwind to like finish up. So, at this point, hmm. Gotta go in with Intimidate, obviously. Then we could have, we have Fake Out ready to roll. At this point, we just fake out, and I think we might go after the Ranger over here, because he might protect. Oh no, he's Choice Bandit, isn't he? Is he Choice Bandit? If Symbiosis choice, uh, shares his Choice Band with him, right? That means he can't protect. Is, is that correct? Is that a correct statement? That, is, that, is that a correct thing to say? At this point, I would just love to double down into it. Right? Right, is that a correct statement to make? I think it is. I think it is a correct statement to make. I don't really know how the symbiosis works. But it says it's sharing his choice band with it. Which leads me to think he can't change moves. And if he can, that is whack. That would be so whack. So let's see how this one plays out. Let's see how this one plays out. Because right now, we're just wasting out these trick room turns. We're just wasting out these trick room turns. We're not trick room, these tailwind turns, and I think it's the last turn in the tailwind, which is really beneficial. And he Dynamax. That was, okay, that was a good play. That was a good play. We do have Intimidate on him, but he's only two now. We are still going to be able to get off a Draco Meteor. But he ends up Dynamaxing, which was a smart play. Kind of neglects my fake out. And... Hmm. We're going to have to Dynamax with Absol, which could be very, very beneficial to us. And now he can guard if he wants to. Is he going to guard? Does not guard. We are gonna be able to or actually maybe not get off the Draco Meteor. Alice, which can Ooh. Ooh. Smart play, smart play. Smart play. Hailstorm's gonna fly through here. And who are you going after Hailstorm with? My Incineroar? Uh with Kieran. I was gonna say. That's it's gonna take me out. Okay, so that takes me out. Um, hmm. Can we read Alice, which is how is this one gonna play out, man? How is this one gonna play out? This thing is boosted. This thing is boosted like crazy. Because Tailwind should end here, right? I believe Tailwind ends. Buffett's fly around. Ally Switch coming in clutch. This is a good battle. Right, Tailwind should end, I believe. And if it doesn't, uh, I, this game stinks. But no, I, I believe it does. It's been a while. It's been a while. I didn't see it say anything. Does he really still have a Tailwind? He does. Wow. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that one bit. But Dynamax, you could go into Darkest Lair, which I might have to double down. I have to double down into you. It's whack. Maybe he thinks of Garden. Let's go into this. He's gonna ally switch. What's he gonna do? Either way, it's super effective. Let's see. That's tough, dude. Ice Rider Kalex really comes out with a Ranguru. Really comes out with a Ranguru. He hasn't been obstructing. He's just been playing like a different way, which is really, really cool. He's been outplaying me with the Ice Rider Kalex. I'll give him that all day. I will give him that all day. He made a nice little ally switch. And then he also, uh, he did one other thing, which I totally forget what it was. But it was a nice play. It was a nice play by him. Oh, it was a Dynamax. We can prevent my fake out here. We can go into Quake. Hopefully that's up against Incineroar. I would rather Incineroar go down here, right? Yep, okay. So Incineroar does die out here. And what's he going for with a Rangaroo? What's he going for with a Rangaroo? Because we're going to take speed here. 
We are going to take speed in. This could be really, really good. I think we read the ally switch next turn. I think we read the ally switch next turn. Tilly Knight is going to get boosted, but if we can get rid of this Ice Rider Calyx, we could be sitting really good here. Because this one shot isn't going to take him out, but another one will. That was close. That was close, man. Super effective. We do get that crit. The crits are boosted here. Crits are boosted here. Okay. The special defense is going to drop. And then what's he going to go into here? A trick. I hate this game. I really don't like this game one bit. Not one bit. I'm going to read the Alice Switch now. I am indeed going to read the Alice Switch. That is so whack. That is so whack. This thing pops a trick room. Perfect timing, yo. What a play by him. I'll give it to him all day. What a play by him. I am going to read the, the Alice Switch here and pray to God that we can eat up a shot, but I don't think we're going to be able to eat, a eat up a shot. We're going to read the Alice Switch. Come on. Show me an Alice Switch, though. There's the Alice Switch, yo. Eat up a shot. Eat up a shot. Eat this up. Eat up this hail. I don't think it's happening. But eat it up. Anyway, do it. Do him dirty. You're full health. Nope. Not happening. Not happening, dude. Dang, yo. What a great second battle. What a solid second battle there. Great all around from both ends. But he just outplayed me at the end with that Oranguru and that uh, Ice Rider Calyrex. I'm absolutely loving Absol more than I thought I would. We use him in battle number one and battle number two, and this thing is doing a great amount of damage in each battle and just doing a lot of work. But hey, we're hopping into our third battle here. Gotta grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. We lost that last battle, but that Aranguru and Ice Rider Calyx definitely outplayed us, making some great moves. We're going up against a very heavy meta uh, Venus for team right here, or I should say Grout, uh, Drought Groudon team. But how should I play this one? I mean, he can fake me out, but I don't think he leads Incineroar. I suppose we just go Reginald Lightkeeper for speed control. And then in this case, we could actually lead Incineroar if he wants to fake us out. We can see who has speed first. And if not, we can definitely protect. But let's see how this one plays out. Let's go in with these two. Definitely bring Kieran White here because we can change up weather. And then I kind of want this Absol in the back end. At the same time, I would love to have Metagross. I love that Metagross, but a lot of the fire damage really just does this dirty in the ground, so it's really not worth it. It's really not worth it. Let's rock out with the squad that we chose right here and get rolling here in battle number three. But, um, hmm. This team looks very familiar. This team looks very familiar, so I'm trying to think of, like, what moveset these guys potentially have on him. Umbreon's probably rocking Yawn, if I had to guess. Probably Sleep Powder on the Venusaur. But I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think. We got a jam on him. We got a jam out right here. He's gonna go in with these two Pokemon, which uh, I'm kinda cool with. We fake out the Groudon. And just E Web. I think we fake out Groudon and potentially just E Web here. He could Dynamax, but I think E Web can definitely help us out a lot here. So Intimidate is going to fly out here on both these Pokemon. So there's a physical attack drop onto that Groudon, which is huge. But I think we definitely, definitely just go into an E Web here. Or I could Volt switch out. No, I think, I think E Web's definitely the player here. You went into maybe a Darkest Lariat? Not Darkest Lariat, I meant to say a uh, Parting Shot. We could definitely Parting Shot onto this thing. Maybe we'll protect. Or do we slide it over here? Because Groudon could definitely protect here. At the same time, we don't want him to go into a Bleed, so I think I'm just going to fake it out. I think I am just going to fake it out. He does protect. Dude, dang it, man. God dang it. Should have went into my Parting Shot. Definitely should have went into my Parting Shot. Fake Out is going to come out here. Definitely should have just went over into that Venusaur. Well, it's definitely a player. Earth Power is going to fly through here. And we should be able to eat that up, right? That's easy eats. That is easy eats for the squad. Our Switch Spray is going to trigger. And an E-Web is going to fly. Slowing down that Venusaur as a whole. That's pretty good here. E-Web is going to fly here. And I could... Mm, do I protect my Reggie here? What's my play? What is my play here? Do I protect the Reggie? He's definitely going to rock up late. Wait. He's definitely going to rock a Blades, and ah, mm, I don't really want to swap in any of these guys, and then take up the shot. But I'm about to go into an E-Web here again, and then just, uh, I could get off a of Flare Blitz, we can get off a of Flare Blitz, but that's tough news. That's tough news. I definitely got to try to get out my Kirim when I can. If I can get out this Kirim, that could be good for us. I'm really not worried about the Venusaur if I can get off another shot here, but if I get off another E-Web, I'm not really worried about the... The Venus were too much. So E-Web is going to be able to fly out here. That's lovely. I'm going to try to get off this Flare Blitz damage here. But I think he just drops and gets a double KO with his Blades here. Unless he misses one of us. Which would be nice. Which would be definitely lovely. See what he goes for. He just goes for Earth Power here. Into Reggie. And he's going for Blades here. And he KOs me. Really shot in. He doubles down with the Earth. This is tough. This is a tough one. I knew this one was going to be tough. Especially after his lead. 
And he is just going to go into a sword stance here. So he is going to sword stance. I definitely have to get out my Kirim here in Dynamax. That's definitely my play. Definitely my play. If we go in with this, uh, dealing up some damage here. Give me a burn. Can we get burns with that? I don't think it's possible. And he has a berry. Of course he has a berry. This thing sets up the sword stance. He is plus two. But I think Kirim does outspeed, which could really be beneficial to him. So let's go Kirim here. I actually want to check Kirim somewhere here. 161. That's a, that's a good speed. That is a great speed. So I'm going to bring in him. And I think just going into a hailstorm into the ground could definitely pose that big threat. And then dropping a flare blitz over onto the Venusaur slot. But I think we outspeed. We definitely outspeed that Venusaur. The Venusaur isn't that fast anymore. It's back to normal. And then I think we just change up weather. Let's rock it. Let's do it. Let's get after it. Flare blitz going to fly out here too. Into the Venusaur slot. Yeah. Because I think if we hit this ground on with this Hailstorm, even if he is Dynamax, we still get the KO. So let's see who, what's this going to play. There goes our Dynamax. Maybe he's Dynamax and Groudon. I actually hope he is. That could be really beneficial for us. So let's see. We Dynamax in here. He might have the Charizard in the back end. It's going to be a good battle. It's going to be good for third and final battle. Definitely a good third and final battle. We're going to drop a Hailstorm. Hopefully he's not going for like a sleep powder. That could definitely be scary and all and he is going to Dynamax, but that just shows that uh, that we outspeed him with the Dynamax. That's good, because our Dynamax animation went first. That's good. That is good. That is, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. He goes in with the ground on Yoke. Please tell me that this Hailstorm can KO. It's super effective. It's Stab. It's Life Orb on top of it. I don't know. This thing is pretty bulky, though. We don't like. We don't like one bit. Let's see. Hailstorm is going to fly. Come on, Hailstorm. Come on, Hailstorm. Do him dirty here. Do him dirty here. Get him out of here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Big KO. Big KO coming in with Kirim. Told you guys I want to showcase Kirim in this third and final battle, and that's exactly what we're doing here. That's exactly what we're doing. Getting rid of big old Groudon, and more importantly, changing up that weather. More importantly, changing up that weather. So let's see what Venusaur goes for here. Hopefully it's not a sleep powder. We actually outspeed it. We actually outspeed it, because we did change up the weather. So that's very big. Can Flare KO too? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just another day in the office, baby. Just another day in the jeans office. This is my place. This is my place. Know that all day. Know that all day. We get rid of Venusaur, who's, who is a huge threat, and we get rid of his Dynamax Groudon, who was an even bigger threat, because it had Sword Saints set up. And we were just like, nah, y'all, let's bring out Kirim. Let's get after it this way. Okay, so he goes in with the, uh, him and Umbreon. Okay, so he can yawn. He can definitely yawn. He doesn't have a Dynamax. Uh, what do I play here? How do I play this one? Probably Quake. I could Quake, just get that special uh, defense boost. It'll be big. It'll be big. We go here. Let me just parting shot. Let me just parting shot on Charizard. Because I can see Charizard maybe protecting here. He does protect. He does indeed protect. He might be going for a Yawn here. Let's see a Suits play. But more importantly, we get off this Max Quake, and I really just want to go for this Max Quake just for that special defense. That special defense boost can be big for the squad. So we get off a lovely amount of damage there, which makes me think that this... uh. Then a Hailstorm can take him out next turn because Hailstorm is stabbed. That's a, that's a good that's a good chunk there. Parting shot's gonna get blocked. Really fine. He's just making the reads, man. He's making the reads, and he is gonna yawn. He is gonna yawn up on me. And did we just go into? Did we just go into a Hailstorm off the Charizard? I think at this point we just double down in Charizard, right? I think we just double down in Charizard at this point, right? Because Umbreon could potentially protect. Umbrons usually have protect on. At this point, I think we just go into what would be better, Hailstorm or Wormwood. I think Wormwood would be better. I mean, wait a minute. Does Hail boost Ice moves? I feel like it might. Let me let me see. Let me go into info. Let me see Hail. Hail. Uh. Then turn damage. I don't know if it boosts Ice moves. I feel like it might, but usually it says it in the description. No, I'm just gonna go for an Ice. Move. Regardless, we're still going for it. All right, let's do that, and then. Do we just double down on Charizard here? Yeah, let's just double down on Charizard. We gotta make sure his Charizard goes down here. He uses Protect last turn, so it's not gonna protect again. It connects another Protect- Get out my face! Get out my face. Get out my face. Get out of my face. God, Moon. God dang it, dude. God, dude, he lands another Protect. What you mean? What you mean? Double Protect. Out my face. Now I'm going to sleep. He's gonna go for a moonlight. Yo, get out my face, dude. I hate this game. I hate it. Hate it so much. This game's whack. It is so whack. It is so whack. The Buffett's slowly coming out and about here. What do we do here? 
What is our play? We are going to sleep though. <laughs> so, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. No way. No way. Double protect from Charizard. Out my face. Should've just went to the Umbreon. Should've just went to the Umbreon. Uh, Blizzard, definitely a call here. We can land it. Uh, and at this point, I think we just go into like a Dark Slayer into Charizard. We're trying to do as much damage as we can onto the thing. He goes for the Heat Wave. Can Incineroar eat that? Incineroar eat that. Incineroar does not eat. Mm. It's game, man. It's, it's game, dude. We're slumped. We're slumped. Another Heat Wave will probably be- Oh wait, we ate it with Incineroar? I thought Incineroar died. What's he on? What is he on? I love you, Incineroar! Yo, what's Incineroar on? I thought he died. I seriously saw his attack bar drop. What's he on? Is he on one? Incineroar dodges that move too, yo. He's on one, yo. I thought he died, yo. Free focus ashes. Free focus ashes, yo. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But yo, he got lucky protect, so we get lucky free focus ashes. It's all fair. Everything's fair there. Everything is fair. That's fair game. That is fair game. It's not like I'm getting super lucky. Yo. That is fair game. Because he got super lucky with that extra protect. Get out of my face, yo. Now we're bringing out the one and only super luck skill plans absolute to clean up this battle. Get him out of here, yo. You want to use a heavy medic route on team? Nah, yo. We going in with our heavy, strong, really, really strong, whatever I want to say, Kieran White team. But at this point, Blizzard's an automatic hit. I think Blizzard is to go to move, even if we wake up. And then we just go into, I think Play Rush probably a better call here. Over close combat. Considering that we don't want to drop our defense and just get one tap, I'd rather go into the play. Let's see what this guy does. We're still slumped. Absolutely out speed. You might be able to. Absolutely does. Player off coming in hot. Hey. Doing some big old damage. And now we close combat next man. He goes into a snarl. That's GG's. That's GG's, yo. Get this dude out my face, yo. We dropping this thing with a close combat. And who do I want to get the final hit? Who do I want to get the final hit? You know, we're dropping a big old Draco Meteor on this thing. <laughs> we're going Draco Meteor and close combat. That's our plan here. We're going for heavy damage. Sick of this person. Draco Meteor coming in hot. Following up with a big old close combat. That's GG's. That is GG's. Grabbing ourselves a winning record for today's video. We're still asleep. What you mean? It's a long sleep. But more importantly, close combat flies through here. Later. Later, Umbreon. Get him out of here, yo. GG's. Grabbed ourselves that winning record and had ourselves an all-around great video for today's video. What a set of battles for today's video. Ended up grabbing ourselves that winning record and showcasing pretty much everybody on this team. We got to show off the Metagross in battle number one, Dynamaxim, doing massive amount of damage. Absol was brought in every single battle, doing some work in each and every one of them. Kieran White was definitely showcasing a third. And then those other three Pokemon are just normal Pokemon you guys see on the rank ladder every single day. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive every day and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out everybody.